This is the 50th anniversary of ASU Gamage. In 1957, President Grady Gamage and the famed architect Frank Lloyd Wright put their heads together and said, let us build a distinctive building, a building that will bring people from the entire Southwest to the ASU campus. A building, in the words of Frank Lloyd Wright, that will welcome with open arms to Arizona and Arizona State University. This building has been tremendous because in addition to housing the number one touring Broadway program in the country, it also has brought famed artists from across the planet. We have seen a presidential debate. We have seen countless number of students go through convocation and graduation. Famed names like Betty Davis, Barbara Streisand, Tony Bennett have all graced the Gamage stage. ASU Gamage over the past five years has brought over $350 million into the Arizona economy, into the economy of downtown Tempe, into the Valley of the Sun. And because people come to performances at ASU Gamage, we have people who will also come to downtown Tempe so that we are part of the solution, the economic challenge of Arizona, we are part of the solution. I predict that not only will we have an extraordinary next 50 years, but because of our leadership board, we're in the process of raising funds, one, to ensure greater patron comfort and greater accessibility. We'll be looking at increasing the restrooms, we'll be raising the funds to include elevators that will allow for greater access up through the different parts of the building. We're also looking at upgrading the sound system so we keep this beautifully, wonderfully number-ranked acoustic hall even better for electronic music. We also will be looking at new seats and carpet and a series of things, and we will be raising a series of funds to do that, and we know that the community has already stepped forward to support that activity, and we look at more of that. President Gamage and Frank Lloyd Wright dared to dream big, and as a result, 50 years later, we're still dreaming big.